Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer and I have for you guys tonight a household shopping haul and I have like a confession to make to you that I went to Walmart. I actually just did a pickup order from Walmart so I didn't go in. But recently I told you in another video that you were going to see some different types of shopping around my channel lately because I was trying to get away from always going to Walmart. And here's the scoop. So I have been shopping a little bit differently for the last about two weeks, not just running into Walmart. I've been kind of thinking a little bit about my purchases and if there might be a better place that I could purchase that, if there would be more of a small uh, small style like store, something a little, bit, a little bit more local. And it's really easy to do that for lots of other things it's easy to find other places to buy food and to buy clothing and to buy um, tools and to buy all kinds of things like that. But you know what was hard to find decent prices on or comparable prices anyway was just the basic household things. So what I did is I went to Walmart and I thought I would just place like a, actually I thought I was going to place a delivery order and that didn't work out. And so I ended up doing a pickup order. But I also opened up a tab on my computer for Dollar General. And I thought what I would do is put everything in my cart at Walmart and everything in my cart at Dollar General. I mean, the brands aren't going to be exactly the same, but I tried to get the most comparable items I could. Like if I were buying these things from Dollar General, what would I choose? What would I buy? I looked at their digital coupons and then I did the same thing for Walmart. I put everything in my cart that I would buy if I was shopping at Walmart. And guess what? The price was significantly less at Wal at Walmart. And I thought, why would I purposefully go and spend more <laughs> on some household items if I don't need to? So I ended up with a Walmart pickup order. I have also a Grove order in here, and I also have a couple Amazon things that I want to show you. I didn't need that much. I mean, here's it. That's it. And so it's not a whole lot, but let me just tell you a little bit about my thought process about shopping for household needs for an entire month. My goal is to always have two months worth of supplies when it comes to toilet paper, pull-ups, coffee filters, foil, things like that. I want to have two months worth of that stuff at my fingertips. I also have a cabinet that we just have some paper products in. We never touch those, but they're there. It's not a lot. It's about three packages, not this size, but like three bigger packages of toilet paper, maybe five or seven boxes of Kleenexes, some paper towels, things like that, that I have in a cabinet that I just save specifically for like, let's say the power went out, we couldn't for whatever reason get to the store, um, there was some kind of crazy emergency, whatever, and we, we went through our entire two month stash, then we could source that closet. This here is the toilet paper that we use in the main bathroom. I still have two months worth of toilet paper in our other bathroom, so I didn't need any this time. It is evening, it's 7.37, you're going to hear kids uh, running and squealing and whatever. Okay, so this is the toilet paper that we use in our main bathroom. I've talked to you guys about it before. We have a very tight spot. We could get one of those extenders, but that would end up touching our hips when we're sitting on the toilet. And anyway, we don't want that. So we purchased this toilet paper. It's not fabulous, but it gets the job done. And there's four rolls. I bought 10 of them. That is 40, and I have 10 already. So I have now two months worth, because we go through a little over one roll in that bathroom every day. Remember, there are six of us. We homeschool, we work from home. We are always here. We're rarely using a school or a store or a company bathroom. <laughs> okay, sticking in the bathroom department, did need some feminine hygiene products. I also was in need of dry shampoo. Last month, I did try the Equate for brunettes, and I, I just, I didn't like it. And so I went right back to my trusty Batiste, which has hands down always been my favorite brand, even when I try something different. I did pick up some more nasal decongestant. Two months worth of good nights here, or the uh, pull-ups for Joe. Now working into the kitchen, I picked up a barkeeper's friend. In one of my videos where I was talking about cleaning out my cast iron, my enameled cast iron Dutch ovens, 
A number of people mentioned Barkeeper's Friend also when I was talking about my shower one time and I was digging around the one day I'm like hey I have some it just kind of got sifted to the back of the cupboard under the sink I pulled it out I only had about an inch left and I used it to scrub our tub oh my gosh I didn't need to use any elbow grease it was fabulous so it was time to pick up another one and I thought you know why do we reinvent the wheel when there's things that are so cheap already out there and do such a good job? So I got this. This also is fabulous when you are um, scrubbing like your stainless steel sink, if you have that kind of sink. We also needed some coffee filters. There are, uh, there are 200 in here. That is a whole lot of months of coffee filters. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. What is that? Like at least six months worth of coffee filters. And then I did pick up some plates. I had to get them in the 50 count. I normally like to get the 200 or 300 count, whatever happens to be cheaper per plate. But this was all they um, had on the Walmart pickup app. So I got just two packages of those. I usually do not stock like two months worth of paper plates. I just buy some paper plates every month. If we run out, we run out. We have regular plates, we can wash plates. I did pick up some foil. This is at least three to four months of foil. And that is everything that I needed for the month of January. I am very well stocked on Dawn dish soap. I'm very well stocked on Tide laundry detergent. I'm very well stocked on toothpaste, toothbrushes, deodorant men's gel, shaving creams, things like that. I didn't need anything like that. And so this was fairly inexpensive. It actually came in at just under $100, but I did get six gallons of milk, which actually I, I didn't even bring in here for this. I just put those right into the fridge. I also am a member of Grove Collaborative, and I picked up a couple items. They just had a free shipping um, code, not really a code. I got an email saying you didn't ha need a minimum order at all, and so I did pick up a couple things from Grove. I have been looking at these boar bristle hairbrushes for quite a while. As many of you know, I use a whole lot of dry shampoo. I sometimes go four, five, you guys, even six days without washing my hair. I use a lot of dry shampoo and I've just done some reading. Actually, it's not like I've done a ton of research. I saw Tabitha. She has a channel, This Mama's House. She kind of was talking a lot about hair earlier in the summer, I think it was on Instagram, and talking about using a boar bristle brush and how it distributes the oils from your hair. So a lot of brushing your hair at night, like so many strokes, all the way from the roots to the ends is supposed to help to distribute the oils so you don't have to wash your hair as often and hopefully not have to use as much dry shampoo. So I picked up one of those. I also picked up another one of these Oleo Eosos. This is sort of expensive. I think this is $28. I know, look at and it, and it fits right on my fingertips. It can be used as a lip balm. It can be used on your cheeks, really anywhere that you want to add some extra color. This is balm number nine, which is actually called Spring, right there. It's the spring color. So I'm not sure how this is gonna be as a winter color, but I am currently, for quite a while now, been using a different number. I don't know what the number is, but it is called Current and it's a very deep, deep color. And when I do my makeup in the morning, I find that I put two pretty heavy swipes on my cheeks, and I just kind of tap that in, and then whatever's left on my fingers, I put up on my forehead, I also put a little on my nose, and I feel like it gives me a good winter color. I've also used it on my lips, it has kind of a grapefruit flavor to it, which, um, which is kind of nice for the winter too. And yeah, so I picked that up. I've been wanting to get another new one. Just didn't bite the bullet because like I said, it's $28. It might even be $28.50. It's a lot, but it wears. I mean, I've had the other one for a long, long time and I use it almost every day. So those are the only two things that I bought from Grove. And then oftentimes when you spend a certain amount, I think the lowest is $35, you get to pick a free item. And this happened to be one of the options. This is the Grove Collaborative Ultimate Dish Soap. It's kind of interesting. It actually, to me, looks like conditioner. <laughs> so 
that'll be interesting to see how that works as a dish soap. But, you know, it's just a free item. So I'll put a link for you guys in the description box below if you are interested in checking out Grove. They always have some sort of deal for new, um, for people who are new to sign up. Sometimes it is Mrs. Meyers products where you pay like a certain amount and you get a whole bunch of different Mrs. Meyers products. They have different deals. So whatever it is, I will spell out the deal in the description box below if you guys are interested in that. It has been a while since I have talked socks. I am an absolute lover of socks. I don't know if you guys have noticed that over the years here. And I'm always on the lookout for good socks. Warren also really, really appreciates good socks. They don't have to be expensive. They just have to have a certain fit and feel. And a while back, he wanted, I think, some like gray socks or tan socks, whatever. And we couldn't find any at the store. I had to get a pack, which happened to be this pack. And he has been wearing the different socks. Every time he puts these socks on, you guys, he's like, God, I need more of these socks. They go on so easily. They're so like soft and slippery. They don't pull on my heels or my feet. And I don't know, but as you get older and maybe, just maybe, I'm not saying it's happened to us, but just maybe you get a little less flexible. You just want your socks to go on well. And he absolutely adores these socks. So I picked him up another package of these. I also picked him up and I will insert a picture right here <laughs> for you guys to look at. I picked him up another pack of socks, the same ones that I bought him last February. He loves, loves these socks. I bought them because I, I bought him three different packages of socks through Amazon. The socks that he kind of normally wears, the type of socks that he mentioned to me that he wanted, and then a package of socks that I thought that would be good for him. He actually really, really liked the socks that I thought would be good for him. They're like a wool sock, super soft, slippery enough to pull on. They go on easily. He even wore them throughout the summer. So I will also link those socks. And then let me show you one of my Christmas presents. For years and years, I have really, really loved the Smart Wool socks. Smart Wool, they have different uh, thicknesses of socks. These are actually called the Everyday Wear. And I have another pair of these on order from Amazon right now. These are around $20, give or take, hmm, 2 to $3 either way. Um, and I absolutely love these. They're, these everyday wear ones are still warm enough for like just a Wisconsin winter sock, but they're not so thick that you cannot get them into just like your everyday wear shoes. I know it looks really dumb, but I even wear these with my tennies. <laughs> just because I love the feel of these socks so much. They hold up really well. I have some smart wool socks that I've had for probably, let's see if Joe is 13. Oh my goodness. I've probably had them for six years or more. Not this pair. These I just got from the kids for Christmas, but for about six years or more and they're still holding up. One pair I did have to throw out because they got holes in, but other than that, they hold up really well, and I love those as well. So I'll link these socks in case you're looking for something that's kind of warm but still thin, um, you know, for your Tootsies. And that is everything for this January household haul. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, taking a peek at what I bought, and then I hope that some of the information I share with you gives you pointers on how you can better shop for your family. I will put a couple more videos right here if you want to check those out, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.